Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we'll be learning about how we're going to work around filters and apply different filters in your Tipco spot fire. Now, what are filters and why are they important for a data analyst is a very important question that needs to be asked. So basically, what are filters? Filters basically help a data analysts to analyze your data in a segregated amount or magnitude that they prefer. So what I'm suggesting is that maybe I want to filter data or let's suppose put a black and white post on a data depending on what I want. So maybe I want to filter data according to an online channel and all the other data is irrelevant to me. Filtering will help me do this. So filtering basically helps me segregate my data, be very specific with what I want, and understand what I can do with my data. So let's get right to it. Let's go to our typical spot fire. Over here, we have our usual dashboard over here. And when we go up to the file, edit, data, visualization, view, tools, help, and user options, we go to the view options. In our view options, we can open a lot of different types of things, which include data, filters, details on demand, tags, lists, bookmarks, and collaboration. However, we're going to open our filters tab, which will open right here on the right. We've got our filter tabs over here. And this is a default filter option that they put along our data. Over here, you can easily see that they have put up a fill order date slicer. Now, an easy thing you can do is you can right click and work around with the different types of filter you can suggest on a order type so for example over here we're working with dates i can right click and work around with the data and see if i can select item filter or other types of filters which include text filters and list box filters. however we'll get right to it let's first see what happens when we filter our data so let's suppose i think that this date and this date is irrelevant i want a date somewhere around here so what I do is I segregate my data to this part. And as you can see, it clearly shows me the values from April, May, June, July, and the cost of sales. And it automatically changes the data. And as you can see, the data in our dashboard changes as well. So that's another very important thing to understand about filtering data. You change the values completely. And they may not be valid at times because validity is based on two findings of a resource. However, when you're working around with filtering data, you're being very specific. So you have to understand when you're working around with filtering, how it affects your validity and your reliability. So let's get right to it. When you open this to its full extent, of course, this gives you the full atmosphere of the whole data and how it affects it. We've got the order quantity over here. We've got four, five, six, eight, and the legend is pretty big as you can see. We can work around with the unit cost as well. Maybe I want to segregate unit costs to 500 to 600 perhaps. So, so what happens is that this is the sum unit cost per order quantity according to unit cost from 500 to 604 right now. So over here, we've got it. And you see how it drastically changes the values and magnitude in your dashboard. So over here, you'll notice that when you segregate your cost, accordingly, your price and your order quantity, your cost of sales, the sales, profit, everything is segregated as well. You can also, let's just deselect this option and work around this. You can also choose to go to your channel and deselect a channel. Maybe what I want to do is I want to go and just work around with the value of the store. I can see that the distribution of the store channel, uh, it, it's based on 10,000 row counts, around 10,000. As you can see, you can see your values over here as well and over here as well. You can work around with the order quantities and what they're based on. You can go to your tooltips, of course. And you can figure out what this tooltips is uh, based around. As you can see, your, you can base your tooltips on the basis of your order ID or maybe your region. So 
what we can do right now is we can filter our data according to our region and we can add it we can click ok right now i've segregated my channel to store and now i can see that this region is north america this is europe this is europe this is north america this is europe this is north america and how the unit cost per order quantity in my store selection has changed so let's just select this all again and let's go through more options now what we can do is that we can go down and we can see that different options that we come across we can always go and select the undock option or the reset visible filters when you select your reset visible filters what happens is that when you deselect this and you select this you can always reset them to bring them back to the default so over here we can see that a lot of cities have been selected we can go and select maybe vancouver and segregate our data based on store analysis or venezia or Verde. however as you can see when you go to venezia your data is based mostly on europe so what we're working around is uh, not based on all of this we're working around our filters so when you right click on your filter any filter let's just reset our filters and we right click on the filter type you have the option of the radio button what happens in the radio button is that unlike the click option where you can select and deselect them you can either select either all or one option so i can work on around the asian spring promotion i can work around the european holiday promotion i can work around all so this is how it works around you can also make the filter type a check box filter as usual you can make the filter type a range filter you can work around asian holidays and as you can see it, this is a preferable way to filter your data in your dates however you can work around with it over here as well you have the option for text filter where you can open your text over here and promotion name by text let's suppose you want to work around something named your you can work around that as well another thing that you can do with this is work around letters so basically if i want to filter my data according to letters i can select a or b or c and as you can see it automatically filters it however c does not have a value over here d has a value e has a value it's pretty simple to segregate your data according to letters with the promotion name option another option that you have which is very important is the list box filter over here you can select between the lines with the lines and all values currently all values are selected you just have to click on the data select it you can either press shift and select all of the data or you can press control and select between the lines as well this is how easy filtering data is with your option available here in the filters so i hope you've understood how filtering is very important to data analysts and how you can actually segregate your data and be very specific with it to find certain answers in your analysis available so i hope you've understood how uh, this uh, filtering works and I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.